Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. In one of our previous episodes of the sphere series, we made this sphere. And then we decorated the surface. Today we will talk about how to fill the inside of our balls. It adds yet another layer of design possibilities and also makes the sphere stronger. So let's consider our options and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to hear about the next episode of 3D Pen Den. Simple contour lifted ball is kind of magical, but it is quite delicate and somewhat fragile. When the network is strengthened by decorating the surface, it becomes somewhat sturdier. However, you can still see the other side of the ball through the surface, which can either look super cool or super distracting. It depends. If you happen to decide that it is the super distracting case, then the infill also helps you to turn down the visibility of the opposite side. The simple empty sphere is made out of few basic circles and the infill is as simple as filling these few circles with some kind of a pattern. If you haven't seen the basic technique of contour lifting balls, please visit the Making Spheres Part 1. The link is above and also in the description. So let's make a ball with an infill. We will need a carousel, a printout or a drawing of our intended pattern, the circle segment of a 3D made mat, and of course 3D pen and filament. And don't forget the quarter circle pattern to check the height and curve of our ball. And we are ready to roll! two of each of all these colored circles, but only one of the green ones. That's the largest diameter circle, five inches, which is the largest diameter ball you can make with 3D made mat. Now let's plan our assembly. I'm planning to use spacers eight, four, two, one and then nothing in between the white and yellow layer. Time to assemble from top to bottom.
both hemispheres to the blue level, I will measure the rest of the space to decide how much space I have left before I hit the equator. There is a way to calculate this, which I'm planning to show you in a future video. But for now, let's do this. You do have to account for the thickness of the plastic, which is a little harder to judge when the ball is so small. And those little plastic joints are all different sizes. Alternatively, you can fill your circles just part way, or fill the middle with a different color. Possibilities are endless. Your color choices will seriously affect the outcome too. Here are four identical spheres. The first one is only partially filled. The second one is filled all the way with the same color as the outside circles. The next one is filled with white and the last one with black. You can see how it affects the overall look of each one even though the outer shell is identical in all four. Thanks for watching! Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next episode of the Sphere series, we will extend our designs from the balls outwards. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of it.